close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One last time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. I just feel the gentle rhythm of your breath. Feel the steady beat of your heart. Just take a moment to listen to your heartbeat. Just feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest as it moves in time with your heartbeat. It's steady rhythm. And with each beat of your heart, you feel more and more relaxed, more and more calm, and more and more peaceful. And every time you breathe in, you are breathing in deep relaxation. And it's making you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. It feels wonderful. Now just for a moment, tense up your whole body really tightly and hold it tight for just a few seconds. Hold it tight. Now let it go. Feel your legs going limp and soft as your muscles relax. Feel your whole body softening as you gently relax your body. Now, one more time, tighten up all of your muscles in your body really tightly. Pull your hands into fists, scrunch up your toes, and hold it for just a few seconds. Hold it. Now let it go. Well done, that's really good. And your body now feels so relaxed that it's still. So very still, but also heavy. But you feel so peaceful, so calm and all snuggly and warm. Now imagine you're walking down towards the ocean on a long sandy beach. And you can smell the fresh, clean air and it tickles your nose a little bit. It's early evening now, but the sun is still shining and it feels warm and nice on your skin. You can hear the sound of seagulls flying above you, rising so high and then swooping down around you. It's like they want you to come and play with them. Can you see them? Can you hear them? You can hear the sound of them coming up onto the sand all along the beach. You can even smell the ocean spray, that lovely smell you can only find at the beach. You come to the end of your path now and you see before you the brilliant deep blue colour of the ocean and you can hear the magnificent sound of the ocean waves so much louder now. You step off your path and onto a long stretch of glorious white sand and the sand is very soft, very warm. You take off your shoes and your socks and walk through the hot white sand towards the water. And you can feel the sand beneath your feet, you can feel it between your toes. Can you feel it as it moves under your feet and in between your toes? The beach is wide and long and stretches for miles ahead. And you can still see the waves coming up onto the sand. It's wonderful to see. And you can hear that special sound that they make. It's so relaxing. You can smell the clean salt water. You can even smell the sand. And you look out at the ocean. And you see it's the deepest blue you have ever seen. Now imagine yourself walking towards the water. See the sparkles of sunshine dance upon the water's surface. Like a million tiny stars all shining just for you. And then you notice to your left 
that there's a little wooden rowboat and it's painted a lovely bright blue colour and it has two oars lying inside it. It's like they're just waiting for you to climb into it. Climb into the boat and just pick them up. So, you do. You climb into the little wooden rowboat, pick up the oars and begin to row out onto the wonderful blue ocean. And the ocean waves are very calm, so it's easy for you to row. And your little wooden rowboat is moving gently in time with the waves, just bobbing up and down with the movement of the water. Oh, and you feel so wonderful, so peaceful and calm, and so very relaxed. As you sail, you see in the distance a misty light that seems to dance and move on the waves, and you wonder what it could be. As you get closer to it, you see that the light opens up for you. And just the other side of the light, you see a tiny shimmering island with what looks like a castle sitting on it, but you're not sure. It looks all misty and you can see through it. And you're thinking to yourself, is that actually real? Or am I just imagining this? So you decide to investigate and row towards the castle. The light is gently pulling your little rowing boat towards it and you feel so excited now. You don't have to do anything at all now, just sit back and relax. It almost feels like you're going home. It's so peaceful and so nice. But you're still excited though. As you arrive at the shore of the island, the castle goes from transparent to fully solid. Wow, where did that come from? One minute you were sailing along the ocean waves, then the next minute a magical castle appeared right in front of you that lights up the ocean with its shimmering bright light. Oh my goodness me. Wow. You can even hear very soft and light music playing, but you don't know where it's coming from. It's like it's all around you. It's like the music is playing in the air all around you and it's wonderful. You realise now that the castle itself is shining very brightly. It's dazzling to look at, but wonderful and not so bright that it hurts your eyes though. It's almost like floodlights. It's so bright. But it's then that you realise that the bright shining lights are not floodlights at all. They are in fact crystals and they are embedded in the walls, all over the walls. How fantastic is that? It is so beautiful crystals everywhere you notice a sign on the beach saying that this is the magical crystal castle and the sign also says this is the castle of your wishes where your wants and dreams come true it's a magical place full of wonder and today it's here just for you Wow, that's nice, isn't it? Today, it's your castle. And you can create any toys that you want. Any books that you want. You can have cats and dogs here too. You can even have any person you want. They too can appear. You decide. You are the creator. And this special place is just for you. So spend a few moments creating whatever you want on this lovely island. Create how your castle is going to look. And just have fun.
now that you've created what your castle looks like, you decide it's time to enter the castle itself. You want to see all the rooms inside and discover what else is in there. As you walk towards massive wooden doors, they slowly open. And standing before you is a beautiful being that looks like a shimmering light, but it's in the shape of a young girl. She tells you that she is your guide and she is what is known as an ocean angel. The ocean angel tells you that she protects the ocean and anyone that visits this place. She tells you that there are many ocean angels, but she is here to assist you with whatever you need. And she tells you that her name is Tamara. She is a kind and very loving being. She is translucent and she glows with pure light. And this makes you feel so safe and protected and so loved in her presence. And you feel at peace with her beside you. Tamara leads you into a great hall. It has a large open fire at one end of the giant room. And it has very large windows. Well, you thought they were windows, but actually they are giant crystals that give off the most amazing and beautiful light. They are many different colours and they make you feel so alive, so revitalised and filled full of wonder. There are lush green plants everywhere. Very big sofas and armchairs are dotted all over the room. There are also big wooden desks for you to work on, if you want to. This amazing room even has a library at one end. It's fantastic. You can do anything you want in this huge room. Tamara now says to you that she will take you to explore this amazing crystal castle. So she takes your hand and leads you out of the room. She is going to take you into many different rooms and each room will be different from the last one and each room will be more spectacular than the last one. There are many different bedrooms in this castle but there is a special one just for you. This one will have your name on the door and it will be the room you would like most of all. A room that's just yours and yours alone and it will be perfect for you with everything you've ever wanted. So for a few moments, go and explore the castle with Tamara. Go and find out just what is in all of the rooms. There may be a few surprises for you too.
did you find the room with your name on it? What's it like? Did you like it? Was it everything you expected? Was the castle everything you expected or wanted it to be? Tamara tells you it's now time for you to sleep. After all, this is one of the reasons you were pulled to this amazing crystal castle. To have the best night's sleep ever. So climb onto your beautiful bed and snuggle down to rest. Just close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the ocean waves through the open window. How peaceful is this? Feel your breathing as it begins to slow down now. And your chest is just gently rising and falling. You listen to the rhythm of the waves as they begin to lull you into a beautiful, restful sleep. Just listen to the waves. Just listen to the waves as you go deeper and deeper into sleep. Feeling so peaceful and so calm. When you wake up in the morning, you will feel so refreshed and so very, very happy. And remember, you can always visit this magical crystal castle anytime you want. So sleep now in your wonderful bed with its soft, fluffy quilt and deep, deep pillows. Night night. Now imagine yourself sitting on a very large rock. Half of it is on a beautiful sandy beach, but the other half is in the deep blue ocean. You can hear the gentle lapping of the ocean waves as they roll up and onto the rock you are sitting on. Take a deep breath and breathe in the fresh ocean air. It feels so peaceful here. And the sun is high in the sky with just a few small fluffy clouds drifting by. And you can see shapes. You see the shapes they make as they drift on by. And you feel very peaceful sitting on your rock, listening to the sounds of the waves. And it makes you smile with happiness. But as you sit there, you notice movement in the water below you. And you wonder, hmm, what is it, you think to yourself. You see the water moving in a strange way. And there are little bubbles forming too. What on earth could it be? As you watch the swirling movement of the water, a head pops up with very long flowing blonde hair. And you see it's a young girl who looks just about your age. She gives you a big grin and her blue eyes sparkle with fun. She tells you her name is Imogen and she is a mermaid. Wow, a mermaid. She gently lifts her tail out of the water for you to see. Oh my, she really is a mermaid. So you introduce yourself to her and you tell her your name. She is very pleased to meet you, she says. She says she's never met a land walker before. Some of the older mermaids have. But this is her first time. Puzzled, you wonder what a land walker is, so you ask her. She tells you, a land walker to all mermaids are human beings. They walk on the land, whereas mermaids can't. Hmm, this makes sense to you now. Imogen tells you that she is a very special mermaid. A mermaid very few humans have ever seen. She is a flying mermaid, which means that not only can she swim under the sea, she can also fly like a bird. Oh my goodness me, a flying mermaid. 
Imogen asks you if you would like to see her wings. Well, of course you would. Imogen raises herself up and the top half of her body is free from the water. And as you watch, very slowly and gently, wings start to sprout out of her back. You watch as the glorious wings begin to spread out around her. Incandescent, the colours are so beautiful. Her wings are like beautiful rainbows and they are dazzling in the sunlight. They shimmer and they shine with the most beautiful colours you have ever seen. Can you see them? Imogen asks you if you would like to fly with her up into the clouds. <laughs> Obviously you say yes. She tells you to climb up on her back and hold on tight. So you do. And you give a little laugh because your feet are still dangling in the water. Imogen raises herself up even higher and her wings spread out even further still. Then she begins to gently flap her wings and as she does, you see that you and she are already out of the water and you both rise higher and higher and you are now flying with Imogen. How exciting. Her wings move faster and you go higher and before you know it, you are high in the beautiful blue sky. There are fluffy white clouds everywhere. You've never seen clouds up close before. They look like little balls of mist. Well, some of them are little and some of them are very big. And they look so soft too. Imogen tells you that she can if she wants, fly to the stars. But today, she's just flying in and out of the clouds, making shapes and having fun with you. She says that if you come back another time, maybe she will take you to the stars and back. Now that really would be amazing. So you promise to yourself that you will definitely come back here again. You really would like to see the stars. As you look around, you can see for miles and miles and miles. It truly is amazing up in the sky. The things you can see, the wonderful sensations you can feel. You can feel the wind on your face. You can feel it rushing through your hair. You can feel your clothes blowing in the wind too. It feels truly exhilarating. And astonishingly, you pass a flying unicorn. And what's more, you recognise her. It's the princess unicorn. She gives you a beautiful smile and she waves to you as she travels back to Unicornia. And you wonder where she's been. But for now, spend a little while flying with Imogen as you hold on to her tightly. Where will she take you? What will you see? Enjoy flying high up in the sky with Imogen.
now it's time for you to return back to the rock. Imogen swoops down and back into the sea so quickly. You climb back onto your rock and you watch as Imogen's beautiful rainbow wings fall back into her body. Wow, what an amazing experience you've just had. Where did you go with Imogen? What did you see? You will always remember this time with her because you had so much fun flying with her. Oh, but you feel so happy now. So at peace, so calm. You just feel like giving a huge hug to everyone in the whole wide world. Just before Imogen leaves, she gifts you your very own wings with her very, very special mermaid magic. But you can only use them when you come back to see Imogen. Imogen tells you that you are a very special person. She tells you that you have so much love inside you that you need to share it with the world. She also tells you you are the kindest and most beautiful land walker she has ever seen. And she is so very, very happy that you are her friend. Imogen moves further out into the water now and you turn to look at her and she is waving to you with her tail in the air. You give a great big grin and wave back to her as she jumps up into the air and then suddenly dives deep under the water. Wow, what an adventure. What an amazing creature. And she is your friend. But just remember, you can come back here to speak to your mermaid friend anytime. You can fly with her too, as you now have your own very special rainbow wings. And with Imogen, you are always safe. You are always loved. And you are always protected. But now it's time to come home and you find yourself back in your very own bed. And you're so comfortable that you find yourself starting to drift just a little into dreaming and sleeping. Your eyes are closed and your body is feeling very heavy now, but you feel so happy and content. So for now, just rest. Have a good, peaceful night's rest and when you wake in the morning you will feel so refreshed so renewed so alert and so very very happy now imagine that you are standing on a beautiful golden sandy beach and you can hear the wonderful sound of the waves as they come up onto the sand. You can even smell the ocean spray, that lovely smell you can only find at the beach. So you take off your shoes and your socks and you walk on the warm golden sand towards the water and you can feel that sand beneath your feet and it feels lovely, it's warm. Now push your toes deep into the sand. Feel it between your toes. Does it feel soft and warm? Or does it feel a bit rough? You look around and you realise that the beach is wide and long and it stretches for miles ahead. And it's so sunny and warm here. It's so sunny and warm that it makes you feel so special so safe, so calm and so peaceful. You walk over to the water's edge and put your feet in the water and it feels so nice, so cool and refreshing. 
and it just splashes over your ankles just a little bit. And suddenly you hear something behind you. So you turn around to see what it is. It's a boy about your age, a little blonde boy with big blue eyes. And he has the biggest grin on his face too. He shouts hello to you and comes over. And he tells you his name is Archie. And he has come to play football on the beach with his friend. He asks you if you'd like to play too. Well, of course, you say yes, you love football. You look around you, but you don't see anyone else on the beach. Archie gives a little laugh and he tells you that the friend he is waiting for is a shark. A shark called Harry. Archie tells you that his friend Harry lives in the sea. But he's not just any old shark, he's a magic shark. Archie reaches under his top and pulls out a whistle. It's a magic whistle that he uses to call Harry a friendly shark. You see, Harry has very good hearing and he can hear this whistle from miles away. Archie puts the whistle to his mouth and gives a big blow and then says, Harry will be here soon. You are very perplexed because you didn't hear a thing. You think it must be a whistle only sharks can hear, kind of like a dog's whistle. Suddenly, you see a fin poking up above the waves. It's a big fin too. Next, you see Harry's head pop up and it looks really big out there in the waves. You hope that Harry isn't feeling hungry right now because you don't want him to eat you. You wonder how on earth you are going to play football with Harry and Archie. Because, well, sharks don't have any feet. As you look at Harry in the water, sparkling lights and magical gold dust sprinkle all over him. It's amazing really because you can't see where it's coming from. It's just there. Then, the most astonishing thing happens. Harry walks out of the water on two legs and two feet. Well, your mouth just drops wide open. Here is a shark on the beach, walking out of the water with two legs and two feet. Not only that, he's wearing bright orange football boots. Yes, bright orange football boots. Archie tells you that Harry only grows legs when he comes onto the land, particularly to play football. But once he goes back into the sea again, he turns back into a normal, beautiful shark. He's still wondering if Harry may eat you, but it's okay because Harry tells you he's just had his dinner. He has had ham sandwiches with cucumber and he tells you that they are his very, very, very favourite food. He says he really loves cucumber. And besides, he says he doesn't eat people. They don't taste very nice. Harry puts on a pair of goggles and says, Right then, let's play football. Harry says you can be the striker. Archie can be in defence, because he's good at that. And Harry will be the goalkeeper. So, for a few moments, play football with Harry and Archie. And have fun on this golden sandy beach. And see if you can score a couple of goals.
was fun. Did you score a goal? Did Harry save any? Harry asks you if you'd like to meet his brother, Barry. Well, of course you would. Harry tells you you can ride on his back in the sea and hold onto his fin underwater. He says he has spare goggles for you to put on. He then sprinkles you with golden magic dust. He says this is how you can breathe under the water and you are amazed at this. Then Harry swims far out to sea and dives down deep into the water. And you can see fish swimming past you. One of them even takes off his little cap and says, Good morning. Then swims off. You see other creatures in the sea, all floating by or just swimming by, all busy about their business. What else can you see? What you do see below you and under the water is a house. It's Harry's house. This is where he lives. And waiting at the doorway is his brother, Barry. Barry gives a great big grin and says hello to you. He asks you if you'd like to come in for a banana milkshake. So you go into Harry and Barry's house and you say hello to the mum and dad. They tell you their names are Henry and Lenny. And you think that's an odd name for a lady shark. But Lenny tells you that her real name is Letitia. But everyone just calls her Lenny. She likes that best. You finish your milkshake. And Barry suggests that they show you around where they live. And maybe some of their friends will be out playing too. As you all swim around, you meet a crab. And she's called Dorothy. She's very friendly. And she's sitting on a rock, knitting with bright yellow wool. And she has glasses perched on the end of her nose. She tells you she is making herself a brand new scarf to go with her brand new hat, which has a bobble on it. Harry tells you that Dorothy is his best friend and they go everywhere together. She's even teaching Harry to knit too. So, for just a little while, go and explore more with Harry Barry and Dorothy. Oh, and don't forget Archie, because he came too. Maybe you can see great big games rooms. More than one. Lots of them, in fact. Maybe you can play volleyball, because Dorothy loves that. Or maybe you can just swim around to your heart's content. Whatever you want to do, you can do in this magical place with Harry, the friendly shark.
Now that you have seen where Harry, Barry and Dorothy live, Harry asks you if you would like to stay at his house tonight. In fact, he says, everyone can. How wonderful. You get to have a sleepover with a very friendly shark and all his mates and his brother too. So you go back to Harry's house and you all go into his bedroom. And astonishingly, there is a bed for everyone. Dorothy finds herself the softest bed and climbs on it. Harry says, don't get close to her. She's a bit pinchy sometimes in her sleep. She can't help it, what with those big claws she has. So you all climb into your beds and settle down. And you do feel rather sleepy though. Well, you have had a pretty amazing day playing football with a shark. A shark that grew two legs and two feet and had bright orange football boots on. Your eyes begin to feel very heavy and sleepy now. And your eyelids are beginning to droop. Your body feels so peaceful, so relaxed, so calm, so very, very heavy now but ever so happy. So you close your eyes and just listen to the sounds of the ocean. And you feel your breathing as it begins to slow down. And your chest is just gently rising and falling. You take a deep breath in. Gently and slowly breathe out. Listen to the gentle sounds of Harry snoring. And even that begins to lull you into a beautiful, restful sleep. And you do go deeper and deeper into sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, you will be back in your very own bed. Now imagine you are walking through a beautiful lush green meadow and it's a beautiful sunny day and the sun is sitting high up in the sky and you can see lots of fluffy white clouds just gently floating past. And as you continue to walk, you have a look around you and you notice the most amazing flowers. They are very pretty and in the most wonderful colours. Can you tell what kind of flowers they are? Do you recognise any of them? Pick one if you want to. You feel kind of a bit giddy with the scent of all these flowers and the scent of them makes you very happy indeed it's like you're breathing in pure love and happiness so beautiful you continue to walk through your lush green meadow noticing that the tall trees in the distance are so very big 
You can also feel the long grass tickling your legs as you walk. You can hear the birds singing as they fly over you. You can even hear the flapping of the wings. Oh, it's so nice here. You hear the sound of splashing water and you wonder where it's coming from. So you walk towards the sound. It sounds like it's coming from behind the trees you saw. So you go closer and as you come through the trees, you see a lovely stream. The sound of splashing is louder now, but it's such a peaceful sound. Also a very exciting sound too. So you stand beside the stream and watch the water as it tumbles gently over the small rocks. You watch it as it twists and turns as the water tries to go around and over the rocks. You think it's so cool. You can see your own reflection in the water too. And you go in for a closer look. And you see that you have a very beautiful face. And you look at your face and your reflection and you can see the beauty and kindness that is inside of you. It's shining out very brightly because you are a very good and kind person. And that is what other people see when they look at you. How wonderful. You decide to sit down with your back against a tree and let your feet and your legs just dangle in the water and it feels so cool and refreshing. And you keep watching the water as it goes around your legs trying to get past them. And as you sit there, your mind begins to just drift along too. You find that your thoughts are just slipping away. So for just a moment, allow the gentle water to wash all of your unwanted thoughts away. And just relax for a bit. Feel the water on your legs and feet. Feel the sunshine on your face. And really feel how good this really is does feel. Now didn't that feel nice, just sitting there with nowhere to go, nowhere to be, just gentle thoughts. Then suddenly you hear lots of splishy splashy sounds and you wonder what on earth it could be. You look back at the lazy stream and you are astonished at what you see. Standing upright in the water is a very brightly coloured fish. He is a deep red colour with lots of yellow spots on him. But what catches your eye most of all is that he's wearing a black pirate's hat. He even has a black patch over one eye too. How strange. He stares at you and you stare back. You've never seen a pirate fish before and he has never seen a human before either. Suddenly he speaks and your mouth drops open. A fish that speaks. And he says, What are you? Why are you so big? He tells you that his name is Herbert and he is a pirate. He's not really. He just likes to think he is. So you tell him who you are. Herbert starts to tell you about his pirate adventures. Then right in the middle of it, he suddenly stops. 
and you look at him and you see that he's he's fallen asleep. His one eye that's not covered with a patch has closed. Then he starts to snore. Oh my goodness me. Herbert is asleep. And you say, hey Herbert, wake up. Herbert opened his eye. Oops, he says. Sorry, did I fall asleep? I like sleeping a lot. Herbert continues to tell you about his life as a pirate. So for a few moments, have a chat with Herbert and let him tell you what it's like to be a pirate and where he goes on his adventures. Maybe he goes to visit other pirates. Or maybe he and his friends play at being pirates. And maybe, just maybe, he will take you with him on his adventures. Now that would be nice, wouldn't it? And hopefully he won't fall asleep this time. Where did you go with Herbert? What did you see? Did you have fun? Now that Herbert has stopped speaking, he falls asleep again. Eye closed and everything. And again, he gently starts to snore. Oh dear, poor Herbert. You wonder if you should wake him up. But you decide not to, as he must be very tired. You notice other fish gently swimming up to Herbert, and one of them speaks and says not to worry, he does this all the time. We will take care of him. And very gently, they lift him up and take him home. One of the fish shouts back to you and says that if you want to come back again and visit, then you will be made very welcome. Very welcome indeed. And you say, oh yes, please. You wave at the fish as they gently take Herbert home. You now turn back to the tree. You notice a waterbed next to it. You didn't think it was there before, but hey-ho, there it is. So you decide to climb on it and rest your body. And you can't stop thinking about Herbert the talking fish. You find it quite funny, really. A talking fish, gosh, whatever next. You decide to close your eyes and rest for a little bit. And you think, my, this waterbed is very comfy. You feel kind of weightless, too. It's almost as if you're lying on air, but a bit wobbly. 
You can feel the bed moulding itself around your body as you gently float and wobble a little bit more. You think this must be what it feels like to lie down on a very big, wobbly plate of jelly. But you feel so peaceful lying here. You feel so safe. And you feel that the whole world loves you and that you love the whole world. You start to feel sleepy now. As you do, you realise that you really do love everybody and that all people are so very, very special. And this makes you smile. So you settle yourself down and you relax even further. And you think, oh, this is the life. Just being here in this lovely place on this ever so comfy waterbed and making a new friend called Herbert. You take a big, deep breath in and slowly and gently you breathe it out like a great big sigh of happiness and you feel so happy and relaxed. You take another deep breath in and then slowly sigh it out and you feel so sleepy now. You take another deep breath in and slowly let out the biggest, deepest, happiest sigh you have ever done. And even though your eyes are closed, they feel ever so tired. And each time you breathe in, you take in all the good thoughts and positive feelings. And each time you breathe out, you let out all of your unwanted thoughts and watch them just drift away. So as you lie there, thinking about your new friend, Herbert the fish, you drift into the most wonderful sleep, feeling so happy, so safe, so loved. Night, night. <laughs>